Behold, fellow plebeians, the Lord's Gatekeeper, a gigantic, ultra-heavy, black-bladed sword, supposedly with the skill and agility to cut through any object in the game. Now this right here should be a relatively simple test. I don't expect this building will offer much resistance from the Lord Gatekeeper. Actually, you know what? Let's, um, let's get way up high so we can drop this down. There we go. Now we can do this in full motion here just to see what- I think it's just gonna get the tip! Just the tip! <laughs> oh, what happens when the Lord Gatekeeper hits the ground? Oh, it makes my computer sad! What's happening? It almost looks like the front of the blade is glitching out. Oh! It must be because the blade is made of 10 billion pins. The <laughs> yes, the blade is made of 10 billion bricks and the hilt is apparently made of 10 billion bricks. Oh, I should have put this thing on invincibility. Woo! There goes the blade tip. Like a lightning bolt straight to the sky. It's actually somewhat fulfilling. Let's try this again, but this time with invincibility on so we don't have to go through the suffering. Invincible blade of potency! Go! Wow! Right at the bottom, we're getting a whole lot of frame sadness, but it it cut through it like butter. That's actually pretty cool. Mmm. You know what that looks like right there? Shattered hopes and dreams. I thought I put the, the blade on invincibility. Maybe I didn't again. I will say though, look at how cleanly, I mean, Vince from Slap Chop would have a friggin' field day with this blade. It is so- it'll julienne your fries, it'll make coleslaw and zucchini sticks, and all that kind of stuff. There is just parts going everywhere. Now, X Gamer Wolf does have a couple of larger buildings that may offer up more resistance against a blade of this godly magnitude. Here we go. The XFS Tower, like version 12 or something. I don't even know how many versions he has. Look at its neon greatness. Now this has a lot of stories to cut through, and I know there are larger skyscrapers that we're gonna have to give a shot at. But first, I just, where this is, consider this like the intermediary, okay? This is like, this is like the single cheeseburger, all right? We're gonna get to the double and the triple cheeseburgers in a minute. All right, building, it's time to see how tough you really are. There goes the blade. Oh, that's a pretty good blading right there. Hold on, let me uh, let me get down low, so we can fully experience this the full sadness of the. Oh yeah, that's perfect. That's right there how you would cut uh, a tomato right in half as you as you construct the sauce. Now you can see the blinking lights over here. That's the uh, that's the warning signal for the blade coming down upon the building. Oh, you know what? That was a pretty good resistance. That was a pretty good resistance on the building's part. Oh, now the building's starting to glitch out. No, the building did get cut clean in half. I thought the building totally resisted it, but it got cracked in half like a coconut. Look at this. It's the innards. It, whoa, whoa, what just happened there? Okay, yep, all right. Oops, Satan's taking over brick rigs again. Worry not. I feel like a surgeon. You guys ever wonder what was inside of a, a skyscraper? Well, they go. There's your uh, there's your pancreaticus and your, uh, your kidneycles and all that kind of stuff. All right, we've got the brick arrow noble over here. I'm picking this one because it flies like fantastically all by itself. We've got our blade. Now, the blade is kind of meant, obviously, to go on the edge. But I want to see what happens. We'll use it this way. Right about... Like here? And let's see what happens. Oh, it's gonna hit the blade. There it is! It's cutting right through the nose of the plane! Oh, my computer. Oh, it wasn't prepared for this destruction of physics. Oh, I should have picked a smaller plane. I think that the brick arrow is like 6,500 bricks or something. Oh! What happened? It got knocked backwards! Oh, that's crazy! Like, in mid-air, it's still flying, and it got knocked backwards, like it got football blocked. Look at how crazy- look at all the nose pieces go flying off. The fuselage is starting to peel apart, but the plane still flies? Alright, I don't know if we can do this, but I'm gonna try and drop it on the plane. This is the new challenge. We've gotta drop this sword onto the moving plane 
as it goes. Hold on, let me see if we can do this. I'm gonna speed things up a little bit. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to learn the, the speed here. The construction of the plane is really good. Like, you know, if you were a passenger, you'd probably go flying from the rear to the front and break all of your brick bones. But other than that, look at how well it's holding up. Like even as it repeatedly smashes itself into the ground, it's still operational. Okay, it's not easy, but I'm piloting the plane while the sword is falling through the sky. I'm not sure. Oh, it's gonna be close. No, missed it that time. But it's possible. I know it's possible. We just have to time everything perfectly. This one's gonna be close. I've got the plane coming in. The blade is coming down. We might, is this gonna meet? Oh, wow. Oh, this is gonna be close. Oh, come on, Blade, do it. Do it, cut the plane. Cut the plane. Yes. Oh, this, <laughs> yes. I'm so surprised at how much punishment this plane can take. A gigantic, titanic, indestructible, billion pound sword just flew through the air. And the plane was in- well, it didn't shrug it off, but, you know, it just cut off the tail. I actually expected it to go straight through like it does with the building. If we do it in full speed, it may be a little bit more powerful. <laughs> it's hard enough getting it in slow motion, but let's try it in full speed. All right, the blade's falling. The plane's flying. I'm gonna release it at just the right time and see if we can get it. Full speed! Oh, that's right in the middle of the plane. Right in the middle of the plane. The game is breaking. I should have known. That level of destruction, the speed that the blade had gotten from all that falling on top of the speed that the jet was flying has broken the game. Oh, the game isn't broken. Give the people their satisfaction. There it is. It exploded the plane to shreds. The plane is gone. Keck Airlines is no more. The bountiful blade of complete and utter obliteration, the Lord's Gatekeeper, I think it was called, stopped the plane. It didn't, oh, there's one piece over here. The one nose. Oh, and our guy's still in it too. <laughs> our pilot's still inside. Like, I can handle this, boys. If Will Smith can freaking pilot a, an, an Independence Day level plane that he's never flown before all the way down into Earth's atmosphere, then back I can do it. If Denzel Washington can fly a plane upside down and save all the passengers, I can... Is it gonna land right on the... Oh, I thought it was gonna land on the, uh, on the train tracks for extra deadliness. Wow, you actually landed it pretty good. Like, you can just walk out now. It's, it's almost upright to the point where he can just get out. Now there's something else I have to try here. Now X Gamer Wolf created this. It's called like the powerful stack of bricks, but this has been done before with the lightning bolt. And this is a much larger lightning bolt with potentially a much more powerful explosion, if you will. To give you some idea what this does, you put it underneath said would be plain, you press the left click button, and then you watch as sadness befalls whoever might be in the way. Fire. There it goes. Straight into the stratosphere. No slow motion required. Those bricks are gone. And should anything be in the way, it usually causes incredible destruction. So let's give it a shot with a nice plane. All right, the brick arrow's coming in right about where it should be. Let's get over here. Oh, oh crap. All right, we're underneath it. Wait for it, wait for it, fire! And then what's gonna happen? Oh, oh, I can't even see. I can't even see what's happening. Oh, did it hit the pole? <laughs> it's like a Mike Tyson uppercut. The plane just got uppercut right in the chicklets and the plane goes flying. Look at the bricks. This is in full speed right now. I don't know if we actually did any damage to the plane though. Like, the bricks really hit it, but the plane still looks okay for the most part. The plane's flying upside down, Denzel Washington style, but the plane is definitely okay. All right. We've got the Tom Loco 787 coming in over here. Oh, it may actually drop onto the ground. I'm not really sure. I've got this set up. The second it gets close, we're going to unleash the hounds. Oh, it's going to be right off. Oh! 
right on the money. That was unbelievable. I never actually thought, I, like, I just wanted the plane to fly across the giant lightning bolt level of Thor cataclysmic power, but it ran into it. Now, we could try this on the Titanic. I'm not expecting that this would really do any damage to the Titanic because the Brictanic seems to, like, basically take all of the hits in stride. But we can give it a shot because there is nothing left of the 787. All right. The Brictanic is up in the air. Let's see if we can do this. All right, take this sadness, put it right about here, I think. Yeah. That should do it. And then, get ready, get ready, and fire! See what happens. Up into the sky. I'm not even slowing down the game. It's just doing this because of how many bricks there are. Okay, now I'm going to slow down the game. Oh, it just punched the underside of the Brictanic really hard. It is thrusting up inside of the Brictanic. I've never seen a level of penetration quite so impressive against the Brictanic. Hold on, let's see what happens over here. Right through the, but did it come out the bottom? Or at the top, I should say. It came from the bottom to the top. I think it did. It did an entire penetration from the bottom of the Brictanic all the way out of the deck area. That's pretty cool. I'm impressed at how much damage that thing did. Let's, uh, well, let me go ahead and slow things down here again. Yeah, look at this. Right there, that is some good damage straight through the bottom of the Brictanic. Let's try something with a bit less bricks, maybe. All right, we have this frigate by stalling block two. This is a, a pretty decent size. It floats through the air kind of almost like a hovercraft. I've got it lined up with the giant stack of bricks. Let's see how they do against this beast. All right, it's right about the underside, and let's blow it up. Right there's the release, cut straight through it straight through it and whatever was left was fired off into the atmosphere. I don't think there's anything left of that frigate. No, it's gone. There's, there may be like possibly a tiny, yeah, like this over here, there may be like a one or two bricks or something like that, but the entirety of that thing got ripped out of the sky. Now, one of the other things that you can do is you can actually set these like lightning style pancake exploders on the side of buildings and then they fire off from the building sideways and they will cut stuff in half that way. So I'm loading up Pepe's building one last time here just to see if these bricks can cut through this brute. I'm not expecting them to be able to go through the actual building, but they should at least like knock it over or something. All right, we got it lined up. Here's what you do, you slow things down, you release, you press the button, and then you, <laughs> oh no, then you watch as the insanity happens, oh wow, it did a lot more damage than I thought it would, it actually did blow through the building, it's so fast, it's, it's so fast, that you can see in the distance, the bricks are already out of sight, it blew the building apart, and the little squares that make this thing up are gone. They're not even, you can't even see them. They're miles and miles away. And the giant Phoenix Tower gets ripped in half. So the Brick Tannic got freaking dealt with. The tower got dealt with. These little sideways bricks are super powerful, man. Very effective. Hey anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this episode of Brick Rigs, where finally my life's mission was complete and I managed to cut a plane out of midair with a giant sword. <laughs> Anything else you want to see me do, feel free to let me know in the comments section below. If you want to make the YouTube machine happy, you can check to see how explosive the like button is. Until the next time, folks, stay foxy and much love.